Hi, we are now in the second video for the topic on budgeting. We have looked into the overview as well as the introduction to master budget. So in this particular video, we will look into the sales budget and then we will touch on production budget and direct materials budget. What is a sales budget? Basically, sales budget is a detailed schedule. It shows the expected sales for the budget period, normally within 12 months. And it is typically expressed in both dollars and units of production. So you need to know what is the expected revenue in the sales budget as well as how many units are going to be produced an accurate sales budget is the key to accurate budgeting for the organization as a whole so this is an important uh, budget that will contribute to the master budget if you get it wrong in the sales budget you will eventually get it wrong at the end of the master budget So if the sales budget is sloppily done, what does it mean? You don't accurately put all the numbers. Then the remaining budgeting process is largely a waste of time. The sales budget will help to determine how many units will need to be produced. So you need to know how many production of the products that can be produced within the time frame. Thus, the production budget is prepared after the sales budget. Once you have the sales budget, you will then continue to do the production budget that we'll, we'll, we will discuss right after this. The production budget in turn is used to determine the budget for manufacturing costs, which include the direct material budget, direct labor budget, and manufacturing overhead budget. So each one of these budget will be discussed later on so these budgets are then combined with data from the sales budget and the selling and administrative expenses budget to determine the cash budget in essence the sales budget triggers a chain reaction right so that's why i said just earlier that if you get it wrong for the sales budget it will lead to a different or non-realistic master budget. The selling and administrative expenses budget is both dependent on and a determinant of the sales budget. So this reciprocal relationship arises because sales will be part determined by the funds committed for advertising and sales promotion. Right, as we have highlighted just now, sales budget and, and I did touch some of the other budget because it is interrelated. Let's go into the production budget. The production budget is prepared after the sales budget. The production budget lists the number of units that must be produced during each budget period to meet sales need and to provide for the desired ending inventory. Production requirements for a period are influenced by the desired level of ending inventory. Right, inventories should be carefully planned. Excessive inventories will tie up funds and create storage problems. So you don't want to waste area or you don't want to include or buy stocks of raw materials that you are not going to use in a period of time because it will cost money. 
insufficient inventories can lead to loss of sale. So you imagine that you already bought the raw materials, but you don't know whether you have already bought it or you don't know whether the product are still can be used. Some product expired within time and it will incur loss of sales or crash production efforts in the following period. Now, let's go into the third one, which is called the direct materials budget. This budget is prepared after computing production requirements from preparing the production budget. So we start with the sales, then we go to the production budget, and then the third one is the direct materials budget. You need to identify what are the materials need to be bought to produce the product. So direct material budget details raw materials that must be purchased to fulfill the production requirements and provide adequate inventories. Preparing this budget is one step in company's overall material requirement plan, what known as MRP. It is an operation management tool that uses computers to help manage materials and inventories. The objective of having MRP is basically to ensure that the right materials are available in the right quantities at the right time. Okay, You want to have it the right amount at the same time, the right time to be used to support the production budget. Okay, let's stop for now and we will continue on the following video for the rest of the items in Master Budget. Bye-bye.